Hi everyone, my name is Emily. Welcome to my channel Craft Create Captivate and today I will be showing you how to make your very own cross made out of clothespins. So let's get started. You're going to need 10 clothespins and a glue gun. If you're going to sell these or give them out as a gift, I recommend that you use wood glue or E6000. Those are easily found at Walmart in the craft section, or you can just go to a hardware store near you. I'm pretty sure that they have them there too. You will start by removing the spring from all 10 pins. A little tough, but not too bad. And then you'll be gluing the pins back together on the flat side. You're going to repeat this step for all 10 pins. I kept getting glue on my table, so I went ahead and bought these cutting mats at Walmart. They were under $5. It comes in a four pack, just in case you guys need a mat. Now that all 10 pins are glued, you will get two pins and glue them together, side by side each other, facing the same direction. You're going to repeat this until you have five sections in total. Now that we have all five sections ready, before we start gluing, I'm going to show you the placement of the pins to form the cross. That way it will be easier for you to do. You will start by gluing four sections together using the end tips of the pins. You might have to glue your projects more than once. I mean, they don't stick on the first try. It's crafting, that's what it's all about. All you gotta do is pick it up and glue it back together. The last pin will be glued facing the opposite direction, leaving the rounded edges glued together. I honestly like the natural wood on the clothespin but I decided to hand paint it just to see what the outcome would look like. After that, I decided to go ahead and do a second cross. I used spray paint on this one. I just wanted to see which option was better for me in the future in case I do want to make more of these. This time I started the gluing process backwards. It was a little bit easier for me, so just in case you guys can try it backwards, it might be easier for you. I'm going to give you a heads up right now. The cross might look uneven or not straight i mean some of the clothespins are longer than others it is what it is all we can do is craft be happy and make it look pretty duh here i'm just randomly crafting a platform for the cross not knowing if it's going to fit but it did work out at the end and i can't wait for you guys to see the result I am going to hang the brown cross on the wall, so I went ahead and bought this jute twine at the Dollar Tree. It's going to work just fine.
For the white cross, I just wanted to be a little bit more creative and have a little more fun. So I am going to put glue and glitter. Yay! Another glue that you can use is Mod Podge, but I already have this one. So this is what I'm going to use. So this is the outcome with the glitter. I actually like this one more, but I do like the brown one as well. I also bought cotton twine from the Dollar Tree. Found it near the tool section. In case some of you don't want to make a platform or a base for your cross, you can just use twine to hang it. Or you can just nail it to the wall. Here are the finished projects. I also made a tassel for the white cross. I used the same twine that I bought from the Dollar Tree and beads from Walmart, found in the craft section. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this DIY, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comment section below which color of cross was your favorite. And if you do recreate this DIY, hopefully you share some photos down below. And as always, have a great day.